Hey, this is Mike. Just wanted to share a quick note with you guys that you can now pick up the Pixel 8 Pro for only $799. Normally is $1,000, which is a good deal for a flagship phone. And in my view, Samsung is making their phones too big, and Google with their 6 and 7 Pro phones had a lot of glitches. And I'm happy to say that my 8 Pro has not had any problems so far. So, looking good, everything is much better compared to the old phones. I really like how quick it is to get your face and unlock. It's more like the Apple. Or you can still use your thumb and it's optical. And it's fast. It's actually faster than my S22 Ultra. So, bright screen. Um, I think it's brighter. I think it's 2400 is brighter than the new iPhone 15 Pro Max, but I think Samsung is actually going to make brighter phones in February when they come out. But they're also going to keep their phones square, just like the S22 Ultra and the S23, similar size, but they're going to make their screens flatter. I really like the Google Pixel because they have made the viewing area is flat, but on the edges it's rounded, so it fits your phone your hand nicely it's still round on the back. So yeah, the form and function and design of this phone, it's good. Personally, I wish they would make their phones about yay tall, because our eyes can't focus up here and here at the same time anyway, <laughs> and it's harder to put in our pockets, and honestly, the phones are just getting too big nowadays. Make it this wide and about this tall, I would have my perfect phone. So, but it is shorter than than the S22 Ultra or S23, a little bit shorter, shorter, and a little bit less wide also. So, which I like that. And the rounded corners are easy to put in your pocket, and just easier to hold on to. You don't have that corner of the the Ultras poking in your hand. And this is a little lighter also, not by much, but for some reason it still feels easier to handle. It, it feels much lighter than even what the weight says for the Pixel. So yeah, anyway, good phone. The cameras are the main, my main thing. I was looking for a better camera than my, my Samsung. Um, and I finally found it in the Pixel 8 Pro. Comparable photos, actually better photos than the Apple i15 Pro Max or, uh, or the Pro. And the videos are probably on par. Still not as smooth, quite as smooth, but the clarity is on par with the Apple. So I just can't switch over to Apple's. I love, I've always loved their, their videos, they're always better. But this is pretty close. And for $7.99 versus an Apple iPhone Mac Pro Max of $1,200, it's 400 bucks cheaper. I mean, even even the regular price of a thousand for this phone is two hundred bucks. Is two hundred bucks? It's cheaper than than those. And I prefer. I still prefer the Google software. Um, yeah, I just I just like how it works. Uh, your keyboard is. If I can bring that back up, your keyboard, I mean, you can actually put your numbers at the top. You have, you can save things to your clipboard and I don't have anything. Oh, I need to turn on my clipboard. And you'll have all these, you'll have different things you've saved in the past so you can quickly just cut and paste. Um, you can't move your icons around easily on an iPhone, but these, so simple. I mean, come on, Apple. <laughs> if I want to put one icon down here, let me do it. I mean, this is 2023 coming on 2024, and you can't do that. So, yeah, there's just lots of things about Apple. The biggest thing for Apple is you have to pull down to see that you have notifications on Samsung, Google, anything with the Google software. You'll see, because we don't have this big, big notch, 
wasting your screen space, I mean, you'll see your icons at the top. So you'll see it here, you can pull it down, you can see it there. With iPhones, you have to pull down on this side, of course, to see if you have any notifications. I had an iPhone 12 and I was missing my notifications. You know, I would get a message and not see the other message. Yeah, I was missing messages often with that phone. And they still haven't changed it. So there's just so many things that, I don't know. I mean, that one thing, having a better video camera. And, you know, I like things like the air tags. It's cool stuff, good stuff, but it's not, those, you know, those two big things are not worth all those other things I would miss. So, anyway, you can get this phone for $7.99 right now. I'll leave a link below so you can find that, for, get that for yourself before the deal is gone. Thanks.